Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning. My name is Jesse. I'm the worship pastor at Calvary, and I'll be sharing your word for the day. Today we're in Matthew 15, 32 through 39, and we hear about the miracle Jesus performed, feeding the 4,000. Let's read together. Then Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion on the crowd because they have been with me now three days and have nothing to eat. And I am unwilling to send them away hungry, lest they faint on the way. And the disciples said to him, Where are we to get enough bread in such a desolate place to feed so great a crowd? And Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? They said, Seven and a few small fish. And directing the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, and having given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. And they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up seven baskets full of the broken pieces left over. Those who ate were 4,000 men besides women and children. And after sending away the crowds, he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadan. The first thing we see is the compassion Jesus had for the people under his care. He was teaching the crowd of thousands for three days, and he did not want to send them away hungry as they traveled back to their homes. They were fed spiritually, and now we see Jesus wanting to feed them physically. Then we see the disciples wondering how they would be able to feed this large of a crowd in such a desolate place. They only had seven loaves of bread and a few small fish. I think all of us would have questioned, how are we going to feed all these people? Jesus took the seven loaves and fish, gave thanks, and then gave the food to the disciples to feed the crowd. Next, we see that they all ate and were satisfied. That would have been an amazing miracle to have witnessed. Such a simple but profound statement Jesus made by showing compassion and care. He cares for all people in all nations. In the previous verse, we saw Jesus had healed many people physically. Once again, we see how he cared for people spiritually and physically. As followers of Jesus, we need to have compassion for other people, loving them the way Christ loves us, serving one another with a heart of joy and gratitude. Don't lose awe of Jesus with what he has done, what he's doing, and what he's going to do. Let's be intentional by sitting in the presence of God, being filled up by his word and spirit. If you'd like to get more connected with other believers, sign up for a life group. Join us for our weekend services. Come to celebrate recovery and keep seeking Jesus daily in the word and spending time with God. Thank you for listening to our word for the day. I look forward to seeing you on the weekend and may the peace of Christ fill you with hope and joy this week. Have a great week.